Hi everyone, today I will show you how to make a GFX like this using rigs. The link for all software and plugins are in the description of this video. The first thing you need to do is install Roblox Studio. To install it just search Roblox Studio download and download it. To add your avatar you need the load character plugin. Search for it in the plugins and install the free one. It should show up in plugins, click it and put in your Roblox user. Spawn R6. On the right, select your avatar's name, right click and export selection. For the 3D you will need Blender. Search Blender Download and Download plus Install. You will need Blender Lightroom the link for it is in the description. When you open it, it will look like this. These are the rigs I use the link for them is in the description. You can pay if you want but if not just put $0 and add to cart. Put in your email then download the folders. To install the rigs go to Edit, Preferences, Install. Select the zip rig file and install it. It should show up here. Select the rig you want to use. Click on the head and then go to Shading. To add the avatar's clothes scroll up press the X then select the avatar's texture. The texture will look something like this. If you want to edge scroll down and add it in the HD face part. The HD faces folder download is next to the rig download. Go back to layout. It looks gray still but if you press on these spheres. You can see what it would look like rendered. To add the hair and accessories go to File, Import, Obj, select the Obj, not me TL, and make sure to press the split by group. Move the avatar up so it's in line with the rig. Select all the parts with the avatar's name and delete them. Click on the setting thing above the avatar's head and go to pose mode. Select all the accessories and hair then hold shift on your keyboard and click the circle around the neck. Press Ctrl and P on your keyboard then select bone. This connects the accessories to the rig. Now press this camera, then go to view, walk navigation. Use Q, E, W, A, S, D keys to move the camera. Now use this rotation tool to pose your avatar. Once you have posed it go back to object mode. If you don't want gloss then press render, render image. And the 3D part is done. If you want to add gloss select one of the accessories and click the checker circle. Make the roughness 0.1 and metallic 0.5. Do this for all hair and accessories. Then select one of the rig's body parts and do the roughness and metallic. Click Render, Render Image, then save it to your desktop. For adding the background I use After Effects 2024 but you can use anything you want like Photoshop or Photopia, I got After Effects free from FileCR.com. Press Ctrl plus I on your keyboard to import the render. Add a background. I get all of my overlays and backgrounds from Pinterest and Discord servers. Press S on your keyboard to change the scale. Use hue or saturation to change the color. I also add gradient to the background. Add overlays. I forgot to do this earlier but go to the start and press N on your keyboard. Then right click this part and trim to composition. This makes it only one frame long. If you forget to do this then when you render it, 
It will export like hundreds of photos. Then select all the overlays, right-click, and pre-compose. Add radial blur. This part is optional, and you will need the Deep Glow plugin, you can get the plugin from Vasher on TikTok. Pre-compose the avatar, then press Ctrl plus D on your keyboard to duplicate it. Use this pen tool to draw roughly around the edges of your avatar. Press M on your keyboard and invert. Add Deep Glow. Change the feather amount to make it softer and adjust it to your liking. Press this. Press Composition in the top left and Add to Render Queue. Make the file type a JEP. Save it to your desktop. Press Render and you're done. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or tutorial requests in the comments. Thank you for watching.